Ahoy mates, I'm Zolanius and welcome to my den. This is a response video to Shad's recent upload of how many gold coins could an adventurer carry in real life, tested with real coins. The real coins being the Australian $1 mark, which is 9 grams, and he said that the gold coin of the same dimensions would be twice that. Actual 2.16 if we look at the difference between copper and gold, but okay, twice that, 18 grams for one gold coin. If I go down a bit, I'm going to, yes, find them. 18 grams, well, 17.3, 17.5, or 24, and more about that later, would be the 5 ducat mark or the not that the 5 foreign mark or the 5 whatever the hell mark of whatever the hell coin in the medieval period because if we look at it medieval gold coins were between a bit less than 3 and a bit more well, actually, a bit less than 4. Though I actually seen a 4 gram coin, which was a single denomination. Oh, I just said it. Denomination. Very, very important. Your one gold is not going to be a one coin. or Well, it can be. But uh, usually, when you say one gold, you mean one denomination. Like, one ducat. One bezant. One forint. One gilder. Van Florint, Coron, Burgundish, Albertin, whatever the hell you get. And uh, when you get to that 18 uh, gram mark, you're going to get a 5 ducat domination. So it's actually going to be 5 gold. So what he said about it, uh, the comfortable weight being 200 gold coins and the maximum 1000, yeah, multiply that with five that is the actual amount of real gold coins you can carry uh, argument could be made that oh in this uh, me medieval fantastic uh, universe gold is less valuable so they are making bigger uh, coins could be could be but also could be that they are actually going to make the same size of coins and just have them worth less and use them more often because if your uh, thing is less valuable it's usually because it's less rare so that would mean gold is more abundant in that galaxy or whatever word thing thing above and thus you have more of it so this 3.5 if we need five of it to get to the level that would be the gold coin of that universe you could just say they are not using silver or using silver in place of copper and uh, gold is the main uh, well, industrial and economical uh, coin and still have the same weight or even less to retain buying power and use the bigger denominations when you need to carry more value on yourself because 3.5 and actually if I go here uh, silver coins even less uh, from less than 1 to more than 1.5 grams these are very convenient weights because they uh, represent a value of something like one penny could be uh, possibly a day in an inn with uh, drink food possibly company even in a shared bedroom with other strangers which is quite a lot of value and the difference between gold and silver is usually 10 could be between 5 to 20 5 for gold abundant places like Arabia and 24 gold uh, lacking places like actual England but usually 10 so the coin silver coin being half the size uh, weight of the gold coin meaning that the gold coin is worth 20 silver which is actually very good because uh, a 20 silver coin 
would be the one shilling if we are talking English and that's a lot of silver so having that instead in significantly less gold is preferable you would use these denominations no matter what unless there is I don't know so much gold abundance then they are not using silver anymore or silver is less abundant and you know they are well actually I think the Witcher universe is operating on this logic that silver is being more uh, or sorry less abundant than gold which is why Witcher swords are so freaking expensive but even there the gold coins are the same weight kinda so TLDR shed your math is wrong <laughs> Next time, please look at Numishta, very handy service, web page thing, and look up medieval coins. They sometimes state the weight, and if you are very lucky, they even state the diameter. Then you could do the math, like most of us actually do when we come to these things, and arrive that a thousand of these wouldn't be that much. 3.5 kilograms that's less than a normal dumbbell <laughs> you can easily carry that around and if you get five of that five dumbbells then yeah that is about the amount you could carry with gear if you don't have gear you are a rogue and your gear consists of um, lock picks and a dagger then i think you can actually carry about 10,000. 35 kilograms and my logic behind that is you are carrying gold 10,000 gold if you haven't fucked up your uh, economy like D&D &D did Dungeons and Dragons Dungeons and Dragons economy is just shit forget about it then that is going to be like about a village worth of uh, laborers lifetime wages kinda let me actually math that so 10,000 gold would be 20 in silver that's 200,000 and you usually paid one silver per working day so I'm going to divide that with 3, 5, 6 and 562 years and considering that people usually lived or at least worked for 50 years Okay, village worth is a bit much, but you could uh, easily be carrying 12 guys whole life savings on your back. Even if it's 35 kilograms, you would be motivated enough to carry that shit around. And considering that uh, soldiers back then, and actually nowadays too, were carrying uh, gear that were uh, 20 to 30 kilograms in weight it's not even that much over your capacity and compressed level whatever the hell so TLDR shed please next time check actual coins okay cool cool I was Zelanius thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in my den again